All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So uh, before I get started on the Yuan Shao playthrough, um, we'll have another upload on Friday, and then Saturday we'll be continuing our Liu Kong live stream. So that'll be Saturday. I want to say like at eight. So if you're catching this on um, if you're catching this on PlayStation, uh, check out the channel Archive Gaming on YouTube. And you can catch the live stream live, like I said, uh, Saturday around 8 p.m. Central Time is usually when I live stream. So, um, with that said, I did lose. There was no upload on Friday because I lost that footage. But as you guys can see, we're marching into Matang's territory. So, that's where we're going to pick it up now. So, I should be able to wipe out Ma Teng fairly easily because we took, I think Ma Chao's a prisoner in Anding. I've got a lot of prisoners here. Basically, Pang Day's a prisoner. I mean, I don't think Ma Teng's going to be able to put up any resistance. So once we're able to take out Ma Teng and then absorb his forces, that should give us enough officers to, um, Face Liu Bei or face Gong Zhong Xu. Whichever comes first. Okay. Also, I looked into the... What happened to Yuan Tan in this what if situation. And he just... He's not in the file, so... I don't know what the explanation is since... Koei does this with all the what ifs there's like generals that are quietly removed and I guess the implication is just that they're killed so I guess somehow Yuan Shao lost his uh his eldest son Yuan Tan my guess is that he had a, he had trouble with the succession right maybe in this what if Yuan Shao declares uh Yuan Shang successor Yuan Tan objects and and that's it they have a falling out but it's pretty weird. There's a lot of scenarios that are like that in this game. A lot of what ifs, I should say. Where officers are kind of shuffled around. And because they didn't make too much effort talking. Because they didn't make too much effort in explaining like what's going on exactly. It's just like a general one paragraph is all you get kind of deal. So it's kind of hard to tell. I don't know if I want to take Bu Yang, honestly. I think we'll just let Liu Bei go at it. See if he can get it. So let's see, let's check out the prisoners. Yang Xing, that's another really good officer. Peng Day's a prisoner, Li Yan's a prisoner, Ma Dai and Ma Chao. I mean, we've got all his best officers. Our prisoners right now. So as long as they stayed locked up, should be able to... Let me call somebody over. Now would be the best time to have a guy who has guard. I don't think I have anybody though. Dun, dun, dun. Guard, wow. actually have somebody and he's gonna be here in two turns perfect so that will ensure that nobody gets out it should anyway all right let's just do a search go to the next turn You take him out as soon as possible. Yuang Si has been doing nothing but runs for me for how many years now? Six years of game time. He's been just the special envoy all this time. That's all he's been doing. Okay, extending our alliance with Liu Biao.
That's each tower all the way back there, man. Siege weapons are just so slow. In a game where everything is slow, siege weapons really take the cake. Where it's like the slowest things. Wow, Tianshu's got 17k. It's got more than I thought. Maybe we should attack Tian Shui first. As much as I want to get this march to Wu Wei over with. Hmm. Yeah, let's get Zhang Shu. Arrow formation. Let's have him catch up to these guys. I think we're gonna need the extra unit. Let's make sure our cores are set up. We are really loaded with gold at this point in the game. I have so little territory for six years, you know, but the first couple years were really rough going. Starting in Runan is such a pain. Yeah, let's send some gold over there. Stop recruiting for a minute. Get some cash. Yeah, I don't know that I want to get Puyang because it gives. It's like an outlet for Liu Bei to send units to. And each time he's unable to get it, he'll have to come back and try again and try again and so on and so forth, so. Search. Okay, guard should be here this turn. You won't have to worry about anybody breaking out. Okay, let's see who is our redundant. We gotta change these. Let's just do one chow. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll go for Tian Shui. Because the problem is he could attack us. Could attack us from behind, right? So. Attack the tower while we're busy trying to assault Wu Wei. It's going to be a tougher city to take, but. Ambush Master. I don't know what that. I don't think I've ever seen Zhang Xiu use that. Let's see what that is. Damage and allied maneuvers increased. Huh. 
Also, you have to wonder how much more time am I gonna have with uh, my Yuan core, Ji Ling, Yang Liang, Wen Chao. Like I like I said in the last video, well, it wasn't uploaded, but I'm thinking maybe two more years before a lot of these um, Yuan Shao officers that die off during Guan Du disappear. You know, but I think if you don't, if you're not like, if you're not if you're supposed to be killed and you're not eliminated by that means because of whatever then you get like you usually get like five years so I think he's gonna be around for around that time so I think Yang Liang Wen Chao I probably got two more years with them Wen Chao's spouse has already passed on Ridiculous that is, man. He wasn't able to do anything. We, I, I think I should turn around too and get out of here. Well, I can. Actually, let's see if we can get Luxon. Let's stick around and see if we can get Luxon. It'd be crazy. Luxun is such a good officer in this game. Like, holy crap. Um, I'm playing a f an another file that I've been playing when I have time is Sun Kuan at Heifei. And Luxun does so much work for you. With his, his AoE debuff to all enemy units on top of his Infernal tactic. He's just a workhorse. He has, I think he has the trait cornerstone, and it it definitely applies to him. Alright, let's see if we can get some of these guys early. <clears throat> if I can get a head start on recruiting them, it'd be great. I don't think Pang Day and anybody in the Ma family is gonna switch, but that's a bit much. Okay. Looking good so far. capture him that's fine let's just go home like I said I could take Puyang but it's much better to let Liu Bei just keep attacking it and if he gets it at some point so what Still gonna have to be careful because he could still deploy from Wu Wei. Oh damn, I forgot. You want Chow actually garrisoned in Anding. So there's no cash there. Kind of annoying. So I don't have any suggestions available. Alright, let's see. Outside of that, we just have the complete free leeway to just build up our power. And since we have all of South South's former territories, man, we're rolling in cash right now. We should be able to snowball from here. That's the problem that I have with... Um, one of the problems I have with this game is that there's such a big difference from... Uh, Hard versus veteran. 
hard you know this you can really put yourself in some tough spots on hard in the beginning but once you start snowballing it's it's much more apparent a lot easier and a lot quicker on hard whereas if you play on veteran you can you can start to get like a strong foundation and it doesn't mean that the game is still not decided you know it's harder it takes longer to snowball than that you could have six seven cities you can be in this situation but there'd still be a lot of game left to play but the problem with veteran and extreme of course is that the higher you go up the more linear your playthrough gets what I mean by that is just that there's less room to use anybody but the best guys you know the game demands more and more efficiency which means less options less room for um, creativity stuff like that you know you get put more more on the rails so your decisions feel like they get more and more taken away I mean of course you can still and I do I have a lot of playthroughs to prove it you can still use the guys that you want to use even when you shouldn't but you got to be prepared for setbacks because that that boost to uh, enemy stats is real painful on veteran or at least it can be so it's a tough pick I, that's why I, on the channel you guys see me go back and forth between hard and veteran all the time because sometimes I just want a challenge and I don't like to use three kingdom forces I think the three kingdom forces are at this point a little boring but I've been playing this romance for like 10 15 years so and I was never really big into the three kingdoms to begin with I just don't like you know anything that's just way too strong I generally don't like I like having a few pieces to the puzzle and making a run with that and not not having like all the pieces in place you know as I'm sure most people do What is he doing? Is he gonna do it? Is he moving? Slowly? Oh, he's stuck behind that guy. But yeah, I think uh, the next... The next thing that I'm gonna start is probably gonna be a veteran run. Because while those are... Those can be pretty frustrating. Like I said, they they also have... They also have those really ridiculous moments, you know, those really difficult struggles where it's like you run, when you run C tiers and D tier forces on veteran, it can be pretty tough. And there's a lot of fun to be found there, you know, when you're trying to uh, stem the tide. moving but it's at a slow pace should be interesting because if we can get Machao and then have Machao running around here clashing with the likes of Lu Bu, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei we could make him a confidant with Wen Chao and Yan Liang but again I just have no idea how long they're gonna last Get in position. And get ready to deliver a beatdown if we need to. Liu Biao still wants. <laughs> he still wants that uh, territory in my backyard. Whoa. Prisoners have been released. I didn't know that was a thing. That's the first time I see that.
I'm pretty lucky my child didn't get released or anybody real that could really hurt us. Here, let's put somebody. Oh, we can't. Okay, from over here then. I gotta be careful that this core doesn't get. Oh, I'll get that supply line cut. I hope that gold gets there this turn. Right, we don't have it. We can requisition. That might be enough to prevent the prisoners if the transport doesn't get there. 200 gold, that's it. Hope that's enough. Yeah, so one of the scenarios I'm looking at for the next playthrough is probably going to be like a, a Three Kingdom, later Three Kingdom scenario on Veteran. Probably going to be as Wu. Since I had since I had a blast playing Hei Fei 215, so I'm thinking one of the later ones. Maybe 225, 227. Damn, yeah, there's the deployment. Means you have 9,000 in ring formation. That's why I sent Zhang Xu. I had a feeling. I said, man, he's probably gonna, somebody's gonna come and hit us, attack our backside while we're deployed. The transport make it? No, it did not. This turn. Okay. Searching. What's he doing? Is we're moving up? Probably just moving up a bit to build some camps. They're definitely not attacking. All this time while we're settling this with just these troops, we just keep building up numbers here. So when it's time to finally head east, uh, the hope is that I'll have some troops already stacked up and ready to go. Captured. Beautiful. Let my tank move up. We'll hit him with the other guy. Ooh, that's... Don't like that. These reckless guys. Alright, he's getting here. I think I can probably turn Wen Chao around. We can help keep him from cutting off my supply. Okay, Cash is here. Let's see if we have a reinforce command. Nope. Oh, 
board. Man, that damage was insane. Kong Zoom Kang, uh, Alliance, all right. Got Lian, yes. One of my absolute favorites. Get the tower. Already heading towards two oh six. Okay, now start recruiting here. Oh, I think Taishi C was wiped out. Completely wiped out. Yeah, it's gonna be a real struggle to charge in, into uh, Liu Bei. Alright, let's see. Let's put these guys. I know we have a few people here. Oh, just one? Wakata. We get Matang, I'll redistribute all this stuff. I'll have to put some work in to move everybody around, get everybody in position. We'll probably just charge at Liu Bei. I mean, I feel like Kong Zun Shu and Cao Cao are going to be eternally locked in a battle up there. Cao Cao is, you know, the much better force, but he just doesn't have the resources to do much. Surprise attack, wow. Exhausting each other. That's good though. Wu Wei's only gonna have 4,000 left. After we take Tian Shui. Alright, let's plug up the spaces. Okay, looking good. Looking real good. All these resources, man. Insane. Maybe we can get my time to surrender. I don't know if we have a high enough rank for that, though. Nope, must be Grand General or higher. Let's 
Oh, he did the ploy against me. At point blank. Oh, of course. Oh, my tower, it's melting. Melting away before my eyes. Still, this guy hasn't moved up. That's awkward. Reinforce Jack Sue, I guess, if that's all you're going to give me. I'll take it. Let's see, I think Leon has tower also. Let me see. Oh. I thought he was here. Is he moving? Must have used him for a suggestion. Oh yeah, reinforce units. Okay. I think I can move him here and send him out in a tower also. Uh oh. Saltel's got 10k in both cities, huh? That's yeah, not good. Can't fall. You can't just ignore South Cell. You have to always watch him. It's so annoying. Great. Get that city down. One more turn. Alright, since he's already got a tactic charged up, I'll just send him out this way. Like I said, let me pull Li Yan over here. Yeah, he does no tower, okay. Li Yan can lead a tower from out there. Should have the supplies for it. 35,000 supplies. Uh, let's send some more. Let's get a transport over there, make sure. Okay. Crude officer. Wow, cool. Hi. Awesome. Look at those stats. He's a real defensive focus general. But thankfully he he has fish formation. <laughs> and even arrow. Because I could I've seen there's generals that are close to go high, but the problem is that they only have like you know ring or crane. Go high has fish, he has arrow, he can go on the offensive, he has snake. He has so much utility. But again, it's, I usually don't get to use these, uh, these way guys. I used to like fighting him in the older romances. He would always appear in Heibei. So if you play a force up there and you last okay. long enough, he'd usually be up there. He would spawn like in around Jinyang or Ye.
All right, we'll just let Yuan Chao take it by himself. Okay, let's pull everybody over. Let's see what Cao Cao's doing. Okay. Attacking Zhao Yun's unit. Good luck with that. All the fortifications that this guy's always building. Crazy. He's, he's fortifying everything around here. I think that's the one that strengthens the all formation. Pretty weak. Pretty awful waste of technology, I think. Let me make sure that that's the one, though. Um, can you look at the photo? No. Persian cavalry technology on the axis. The defense of all form the defense of all formations is strengthened. Man, I'm telling you, Koei had some cool ideas with a lot of these technologies, but they got cold feet at the last second, and so whatever the cool idea was, it was nerfed. Yeah, I guess because of the fear that it would be too strong or something. Balancing, ugh. Yeah, let's send those guys some cash so they don't attack us. I guess I must go myself, okay. Alright, we have ranks to fix. Got a lot of stuff to fix, but I'll probably do that off camera after I take out Ma Teng. We'll get we'll get everything fixed up and squared away. Take a while to, for the tower to get there. Okay. Let's see reward. Yep. Yeah, Persian cavalry is what I got. Absolute waste. Parthian shot tome. I don't know what that is. I think it teaches. Is he on seat back or is he dealing with Rome? Okay, he's off dealing with Rome. Got items to redistribute. Got so many things to do. Not just shuffle all the officers around after we recruit these guys, but I'd like to, you know, redistribute that. Titles. Plenty of stuff. Governor is cool. Hi, I can't do that. I have to call him over. I need the other guy to. I need the guard to stay the governor. It has to be specifically. The guy who has the guard trait has to specifically be the governor of that city in order for his effect to work where prisoners cannot escape. So he can't just be in the city, he has to be the governor of that city. What's this guy doing? He's coming to attack or something? Right, because we only have 2,000 there. Can just as easily send... Hmm, maybe not. Wow, we're kind of spread thin over here. 
We are spread thin on troops in the West. Okay. Um, let's see if I have anybody in all formation that could run over. Nope. Ring formation. Oof. Awful. Alright, well, who cares? It's gonna be a while before he gets even close enough. He's gotta clear the gates and all the passes. We need to deal with Mateng. Bay's gonna try to attack? No. Nope. Oh, Yang Xing came over. No shit. Very cool. Oof. Trader Zhang He. Zhang He and Gao Lan, you know, just like they switched over to uh, South South side after Guan Du. And this what if they switch over and join Gong Zun Zan side. But there's no outright explanation for it. You just have to infer it. You know, Koei just changes the rosters around. And they just expect that you get it. That's the stuff that I'm talking about. I, I wish that whoever wrote that little paragraph, they should really make it a bubble that you can click on and just, I don't know, have one of these guys go in there and really explain what the changes are. Right? I mean, there's got to be somebody working on this who was passionate enough who would have gone through and have said, okay, this is what we did. These are all the changes that we did here. And it would have been cool to go through the notes and, okay, this officer's over here, and this was our reasoning during this what if for this decision and for that decision, you know. I think people would have appreciated that beyond just a simple little paragraph. This happened instead of that, you know, it's like, go into it a little bit more than that. Give us a little bit more to, to digest than just a single paragraph. I can understand them not wanting to do more cutscenes because there's so many scenarios in this game. So many. I think this is the most outside of Romance 8, of course, because Romance 8 was had a scenario for each year, which was insane. But this one's definitely second place. Four pages of scenarios. I just think it's weird that they couldn't find somebody, even a fan, you know, that you give the end, give the notes to, and tell them, all right, you know, give us a write-up on this scenario so that we can include in the game so that, so people can read it about what our decisions were and, and the what if and stuff, you know, stuff like that would have been cool. Because all the the only way you can figure it out is just by looking and trying to infer, you know, what happened. Ooh, this transport's gonna get caught. Look, it's not, okay. Oh, he's going pretty fast for being in fish. Pretty quick, pretty quick. Guohai should get there, though. Get this. From out of Chang'an. All right. Okay. We just don't have the officers. I mean, if I had enough people, 
You can see I can't even fill in the cores yet. Everybody's stretched out so thin right now. Oh, let's check suggestions real quick. Recruit officer. Lee Yi. Uh. All right. Not terrible. Okay. Let's make sure he's not deploying. Nope. I wonder when Liu Bei is going to launch his next attack. Man, this looks like a mess. Just a bunch of random yellow mixed in. Let's go all the way up. Gotta wait on the tower, that's gonna take a little bit. Wow, we got Ma Liang. White Brows. Nickname White Brows. That's funny because I just got him on the uh, Liu Kong playthrough. Which I think I'm going to be kicking out an extra video around Tuesday or Wednesday, like an update video. Since the live stream kind of ended abruptly. So there's like two or three turns that just didn't show up on the live stream. Since uh, I think my internet was slow to catch on to the fact that I wasn't connected anymore. So I did um, finish off Woo. And I had to fucking... Oof. I'll be kicking out an update. <laughs> on where I'm actually at with that game. It'll probably be like a short video on Wednesday, I think. Just so people know what they missed in those couple of turns. Because a lot happened. Zhang Lu's army. How many people is he marching with? 8,000. Can probably just defend it. Defend the city. Nine officers in here? Okay, well, since we're here... gonna be here for a little while I don't think I can recruit much here though 100 troops oh it's at the end of the month okay so maybe a little bit more than that okay nothing else happening all's pretty quiet
Okay, let's see what we can pull. Uh, 400. Still pretty low. Let's just drill what we do have. Burn enemy. Yeah, we can try that one out. Been really lucky with the officers I've found. Let's do barracks, why not? Plus two conquer land, plus one conquer land. Yikes. South Salt's getting stronger and stronger already. 15,000. He's going to be able to crush people pretty soon. Maybe even overrun Gongzun too. He's not keeping up. C's leadership is up to 73. Wow, that's pretty high. It's essentially be 80 if after uh, you want shout passes away. If we give him the plus 10, be 83. That's not bad at all. Oh man, I can't believe how long this tower is taking. I mean, I can believe it. That's what's hurting. Alright, we'll send one to see back out. Next turn, we'll go treat with Rome some more. Okay. Still waiting on that tower. Come on, tower. No, he needs to go out. He needs to head back out. So transporter. So that's that's a big no. Holy shit, I've got three life extensions? I guess I can give one to each of my generals, Wen Chao, Yan Liang. Perfect. I guess that solves that. I won't have to worry about losing them. Let's just get this tower. <laughs> Let's get this tower into position. Get these guys formed up already. Oh, yeah? 
Alright. Search. I didn't think so, but I figured I'd try it. Grand General? Alright, maybe we can get Mateng to surrender. Submission demand. Oh, right. Can we release somebody? Okay, submission demand. Okay. I think I'm coming up on an hour here, so let's try to see if he submits. If not, then probably take Mateng out in the next video. Since we're still waiting on this tower. <laughs> Everything's come to a standstill. Just waiting for the tower to get there. All right. Let's do another search. Get to the negotiating table. You gotta give it to Zhang Lu for going for it, at least. Submit to us and save many lives. Oh, we have no choice. We shall submit. Thank goodness. I wasn't sure if that was going to work or not. We didn't even need the tower. <laughs> oh, we didn't even need it. All this time. Alright guys, so that will be a perfect stopping point for now, so um, I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup work around here. Wow, they actually gave us all this territory. That's pretty cool. I didn't, I didn't notice that before. You get all the area. So, I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup work. We distribute our, uh, my forces, 75 officers, much better. I don't know if I got the prisoners too, let's see. No. Okay, so 80 officers with them, with the big heavy hitters. So next upload for Yuan Shao will be on Friday. Uh, be on the lookout Wednesday. I'm probably gonna drop a small update on my Liu Kong playthrough, because there were some turns that didn't show up on a live stream when we were uh, finishing the assault on Wu. So you're going to want to see who I was able to recruit and who I had to execute. And uh, yep, yeah, the live stream will continue. The Liu Kong live stream will continue Saturday at around around 8 p.m. Central Time. So yep, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough. Um, like I said, if you're watching this on PlayStation, make sure you check out the channel on YouTube, Archive Gaming. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then.